What's going on guys? Street Riders 209. Okay, on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install a set of 1.5 inch wheel spacers. Um, or as I like to call them sometimes also, wheel adapters. Um, but they're technically spacers. The reason why I'm calling them an adapter is because uh, this one for instance, if you guys look closely... It's uh that the first lug pattern is a six by five point five. That's a uh, common on a lot of the uh, the GMs GMCs or or Chevys. The six by one three five that's common on the Fords. And they're both six lug. Uh, so you can adapt. You can use them as adapters for bolting a, for instance, a Ford rim onto a Chevy truck or you can order these vice versa backwards to fit a Chevy rim onto a Ford truck you know so you guys recognize those rims those are 6x135 but we are going to install them on a Tahoe um, so obviously these are not for Ford but the lug pattern is for Ford so the the person that got these rims is, is has his Tahoe lifted but is gonna put those rims on and um, he wants the tires to be sticking out a little bit too kind of like my truck so what I told him that we need spacers but those wouldn't fit on his Tahoe anyways but now they will because I ordered the spacers with the different uh, patterns so now this area will fit on his truck It'll bring out the rims one and a half inches out, and then the rims will fit on this lug pattern. See, so it's very easy uh, to install these. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, a lot of you people out there don't like spacers because they say that it's got you know safety concerns or whatnot. But I can tell you that on my truck, I've had them on for probably about five years already. I have never had any issues whatsoever. Um, I do not off-road it though. So maybe a lot of people that complain like that might do some off-roading. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you guys in that sense. Um, these right here are made by Uber uh, Technic. They're performance wheel spacers. I picked these up on Amazon. Probably the best place to get them. Um, I've searched a lot on Craigslist for them and honestly they're overpriced. I think people just pay too much money because they get them from different companies. And then they get ripped off. You know, I've seen spacers, the one and a half, sell for as much as two fifty on Craigslist. Well, I picked this full set up for one hundred and thirty dollars, all four. So you, I got two boxes like this. Uh, each each box contains two spacers. Um, they also already have one pair of lug nuts. Um, and they were for about. Uh, I want to say $59.99 for each box. So, I mean, that's pretty cheap. Um, a lot of you guys out there probably have lifted trucks uh, and want those tires to come out just a bit more. Well, the one and a half inch spacer gives you that, you know, for a very minimal price. So, uh, the, the Tahoe owner should be here in any minute now. So, I'll start with a... Uh, Dismantling his rim, bolting up the, um, the spacer, and I believe that, if I'm not mistaken, on those uh, kinds of uh, of uh, trucks, I have to grind off the very tip of his lug nuts, but it's not threaded. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. Meanwhile, he gets here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about on my truck. You guys can see. I gotta put the lock back on. I forgot to put it back on the last time I had these rims removed. Um, there's a spacer right there, one and a half inches, um, and it brings out my my tire quite a bit, about the one inch and a half. My bed is flared out about inch and a quarter, so the tire would technically be sticking out further out than stock. You can kind of see it on the front how it sticks out quite a bit. Um, so that's what the spacers are going to do for you. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
I've never had any issues with that. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys how to set this up. <clears throat> Alright guys, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. When you pick up a set of spacers like this, I was lucky this time because the ones I ordered uh, for my truck did not come with a set of lug nuts. Uh, I was lucky, fortunate that these did come with a set of lug nuts. Uh, if they don't come, uh, I picked these up on Amazon also. $20 gets you a full set of the standard ones, the small ones. The reason why you need these is because it needs to, you need to have something that goes inside there and they're fully recessed. You can't use your stocks for the most part because sometimes they don't fit inside there. So pick these up, 20 bucks gets you a whole set. I know that at the uh, tire stores that are usually more expensive, they can go up as much as $40. Um, I also ordered a set like these uh, for the for the for that year truck. I believe it's a 14 by 1.5. Yeah, 14 by 1.5. You can see it right there. And um, these were uh, 30 dollars. They're all black, and they come with the key. The only thing is, that I made the mistake is uh, I completely forgot that these rims have a cup a cap on it so there's no sense in in purchasing these plus i'm not sure if they'll fit i'm not even going to try it so i'll probably use this on another vehicle save them for later but i would actually need it for an application for these spacers i needed and those rims i needed two sets of these small ones so luckily for me these already came with one set Plus the one set I had already ordered, that's two sets, so I'm good to install this, these rims. Um, if not, I would have to go back and order another set of these, a couple more days, and then wait, and then be able to install them. Um, so I have these ready for when he gets here, um, and we'll start. Alright guys, so what I've done, I've removed the tire from the rim from the spindle if you guys notice you guys have these little clips on here you want to make sure you remove those because if you notice if you try to put that on there it does not sit flush so that's the first thing that has to go all right guys so now that the clips are off we go and put the spacer in and then this is your next step so your next problem is that if you guys notice the old studs are sticking out past the spacer so you gotta basically uh, grind that off or cut it off the best uh, method to use is a grind a cutoff wheel with a grinder just because it'll give you the nicest cut um, you wouldn't have this issue if the spacers were two inch or bigger because then um, obviously the spacer would be uh, about an eighth of an inch past the tip of that stud so you wouldn't have to be concerned about cutting that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cardboard around here to protect the paint. Um, what I'm going to do is cut about 3 eighths of an inch. But if you guys notice, the thread doesn't start till about a half an inch anyways. So as long as you don't go past the threads, you're still good. And uh, once you cut all six pieces, then your spacer will fit fine on there. Alright guys, so I just got done cutting uh, the tips of those studs. We're gonna go try to fit our spacer. If you guys notice now the the whole area is clear, so the rim will be able to sit on here nice and flush. So all we gotta do now is just use our lug nuts and tighten them up. Remember to always go across, never go side by side. So always go opposites in the shape of a star. That way you guys get the right torque. All right, so the spacer is on, nice and tight. So you guys can see it's all clean, uh, ready for the wheel to be put on. So you do the same process. You crisscross the, the, the lugs. You don't ever go sideways. All right, so the rim is on. So remember this is a six by one, three, five and the bolt pattern for the truck, for the Tahoe or the Yukon, it's a GMC Yukon, is uh, the six by 5.5. So using the spacer as an adapter, they're on. We checked for clearance, everything is good. 
uh, and this is what I was mentioning earlier about the lug nuts. So it's no no spo no point in spending extra money on some fancy lug nuts when the whole this whole area is going to be capped off with a with a cap. So just these standard ones, like I said, twenty bucks. Um, it'll get you going instead of spending an extra fifteen twenty dollars. So uh, now we're just going to put out the cap. I'm going to repeat this step on all the other three rims, uh, and then that's it. So uh, give me one second. All right, guys. So all the spacers are in. You guys can see, it comes out about an inch and a half. Um, normally these would sit flush without the spacers, so this gives a little bit more rugged look. Um, the front, same. You guys can kind of see it right there. Um, so yeah, that's not a bad uh, a bad look for 130 bucks, you know. So. Uh, plus the extra 20 for the extra lug nuts that you're going to need. So, um, hope you guys like the video. Uh, wait till the next one.